Being on a big campus like the University of Arizona can be overwhelming. And with all of the homework and tests, you need time to study. But where? That's what this video is for. Watch to the end and you'll get info on all of the best spots to fit your studying needs. Now, in general, the first place you can think of to study is in your dorm. If you feel comfortable and like your roommate, your room can seem like the best place to study. If not, there are study rooms or a kitchen area in your dorm that you can go to so you don't have to travel too far. If either of these options don't seem too appealing, then watch the rest of this video as we go district by district and determine the best place to study in close proximity to where you live, if you live in a dorm. First up is the Highland District. One great place for those who live in this district would be the Highland Commons. There you have many options on where to sit and set up a study area outside. If you don't mind the hot weather or the noise of nature, this is the place for you. On top of that, you're right next to the Highland Market, so if you get hungry, you can stop by for a snack or a meal. Next is the Science and Engineering Library. Inside, you'll find many areas to set up a place to study with outlets to help for the long hours. If you prefer an air-conditioned and quiet setting, then you'll want to come here, as well as inside the main library. There you'll find similar accommodations, including a Starbucks for a snack if you need one. The only catch is the distance. With the main library, you just have to walk a little farther. Next up is the Park District. In this area, the best place to go is the U of A Global Center. Once you're there, you'll find many areas to sit both inside and outside. And if you get hungry, there's places to eat everywhere. You can grab a snack at Enrich, a meal at the Den, and more. This place is great for people who don't mind background noise. If you sit outside, you'll encounter warm weather and the occasional noise of traffic and nature. If you sit inside, you'll get an air-conditioned and slightly noisy setting from other students talking and enjoying their meals. Either way, you have everything you need. If you're a student who prefers silence, then the Science and Engineering Library mentioned earlier or places in the Student Union would be great for you. However, keep in mind that both would take about 10 to 15 minutes to walk there. Up next is the Historic District. The best place for all occupants within this district would be the Student Union. In the Student Union, you can find places for all different types of preferred studying. On the main level, there are several seating options outside to enjoy the weather and the noise of students walking by. Inside, there are many seats to choose from, with a higher level of noise from the multiple eateries surrounding those seats. If you don't like a lot of noise when you're studying, head up to the other floors. There you'll find many different places to sit and a significantly lower amount of noise. You can also go to the USS Arizona Memorial Lounge or the Alumni Lounge right across from the scoop back on the main level. If you're worried about food, everyone who studies here can find something to enjoy when they get hungry. There are dozens of eating options, and if you can't find anything you like, there's a market right across from the bookstore so you can grab a snack and get back to work. Overall, the Student Union is the main hub of the campus that everyone from all of the districts ends up going to at some point during their day. There are many places on campus for students to study. Whether you prefer silence or different levels of noise, there's something here for you at the University of Arizona. You just have to go out there and see for yourself.